triple trouble for three different restaurants, all exposed with the same violation, I can only imagine. Yeah, well, insect contamination, never a good thing. We can all agree on that. And tonight, the dirty distinction shared between the kitchens is finally revealed. Get ready for the good, the bad, and the dirty dining as we reveal what's not on the menu in this week's Food for Thought. What do Denny's on SPI, churches on 10 South Cajun Far, and Diana's Tortilleria in Progresso all have in common? <coughs> Roaches! The worst of the insect offenders is Diana's on FM 1015 in Malone. <coughs> There are 28 demerits in all on an April 24th inspection. No soap or towels for proper sanitation. There are excessive holes on the walls in the kitchen that must be sealed, or the inspector says he'll shut Deanna's down. Then there are the flies, and this note about excessive dead roaches in the food prep area. Churches is on the roach list with 10 demerits on a May 1st inspection. Inspector notes include a lobby that's very dirty with a short staff and a few dead roaches. The restaurant indicates they've been spraying for the insect contamination. The food patrol is here to see how this top performer from a few months ago ended up with a roach problem. Santos Alvarado is an area supervisor for churches. We had a uh, water leak outside on the bottom basement. That's where it occurred. Things are coming out and not only that, the water was coming out. We, uh, we have a drainage right next to corners, and they were coming out also from the drainage. Their protection plan includes increased pest control, and they're keeping a close watch. Santos yeah, says the restaurant is safe. Denny's on 1100 Padre Boulevard on SPI wraps up this week's list of restaurants with roaches. The eatery scored six demerits, gnats in the kitchen, roaches in the storage area, according to their April 28th health report. <laughs> This week's feature top performer with zero demerits is Costa Mesa on 1621 North 11th Street in McAllen. The Food Patrol is here to personally award the restaurant a sticker for their cleanliness. I'm very, I'm honored. <laughs> Laura Garza is manager. She hopes the sticker will bring in new customers. Her recommendation, the fajita platter. It's a staple here, along with keeping things clean. People expect that from us. If we don't have that, then we lose a lot of our customers. You know what we say to that. Keep it clean. And congratulations to these top performers, Luby's on Dixieland, Subway on Midlane, Taqueria Jalisco, and Subway on East Tyler, all in Harlingen, Starlight Burger, Mega Chicken, Taco Tiki in Edinburgh, Dairy Queen on North 23rd, Schlotzky's on 10th in McAllen, Tacos May in Roma, Leroy's Chicken and Burgers in Ed Couch, Willie's Barbecue and Golden China in Alamo, Stars in San Juan, and Redbird in La Villa. It's nice to see Star County represented for all the good folks out there. Remember, kitchens, keep it clean. We're reporting what's not on the menu. Hey, Food Patrol fans, you have a place to share your restaurant experiences with me right on my Facebook page. Check out what others are posting tonight about where they've eaten out. To find me, all you have to do is search Ryan Wolf. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram.